Pursuant to chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at Amherst MA.gov. That's M C C A R T H Y S at Amherst MA.gov. No in person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the Amherst website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. And with that done, we'll call the meeting to order at 4.33 p.m. and take a roll call of attendance. Gaston? Here? You're muted, here. Gaston. Here, Thanks. yes. Dylan? Here. And I'm here, that's three here, and Doug and Hallie, two are absent. Um, okay, so Steve, you said that the new liquor license application for Amherst Burger Bar was noticed for 5 p.m., so we don't do that, but we can get through everything else. Yes, so we can hear that at okay. five. All right, so we have the, oh, sorry. Um, so the next up is public comment. Sorry to almost skip that. If there's anyone here for public comment, which is comment um, unrelated to anything on the agenda, please raise your hand by hitting the hand button. And this is not anything to do with what's on the agenda, but general public comment. And if there's no public comment, we can move on to licenses. And first up are special short-term liquor licenses, um, SST 23-1 through SST-23-1. 13 and we have uh, the first 10 are William Terspit, Top of the Campus Incorporated, and this is the the restaurant, right? The student restaurant. Yeah, hi, how are you doing? Oh, hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, yeah, good. These, these are the um, beer and wine concessions for upstairs in the Marriott Center for HTO. Okay. Uh, they're, they're weekly, uh, dinner that's open to the public so the dinner service right yeah, exactly okay great and this is exactly the same as it was last time exactly the same same hours same crowd anticipation so yep okay great thank you um You're are welcome. there any are there any questions or comments about these licenses the short term any concerns okay if not then uh is there a motion to approve sst-23-1 through sst Dash 23 10. So moved. Thank you. Is there, thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Gaston. Any further discussion? If not, then we'll take a vote. Um, Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent, and those licenses have been approved. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Appreciate thank it. You. Yep. And next up are SST-23-11 and SST- oh, He dropped what? off, it looks like. Oh, he did? Was, was yeah, he might have thought here? we were, um, no, he might have thought we were, we approved them all there. Oh, okay, because the other two are the lacrosse, right? Yes, yeah, so I can try to get him back on the line. Okay, sorry about that. Because we had an example for each one, right? Yeah, I'm calling him now. Okay. Oh, here's Doug. I thought somebody else was here. I thought Jenny Lynn Fontaine, Jenny Lynn Fontaine was here for um, the other two. Um, yes, hello. Um, Chris Fisher from UMass. I was oh, hi. my microphone there, but I'm here okay. I can speak for the lacrosse. Games. Oh, great. Thanks so much. All right, super. Yeah. So um, we have also done this before. Is that correct? It is correct. Right. And um, there, this is one the one with the, the concession is off in one area and people are carded there. And do they have bracelets? I can't remember. Uh, no bracelets, carded no at the bracelets. point of sale. It's carded at the point of sale. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, okay, are there any questions from Mr. Fisher about these two licenses? This is at the lacrosse, Doug and Hallie, just to tell you what they are. Gaston, did you have a? Yeah, I mean, I just, I remember when we had the conversation about this for the first time as it was something new. And I wonder if there's any, any experience from last round that 
is useful for us to know when we're looking at these licenses going forward? Um, I mean, from my perspective, no, nothing new. Um, there was nothing unusual, very low key, um, not a largely attended event to begin with. And um, the percentage of alcohol sales are very small. Okay, thank you. Yep. Great. Any other questions for Mr. Fisher? If not, um, is there a motion to approve SST-23-11 and SST-23-13? So moved. Thank you, I'll Doug. There... Oh, thank you, Doug. Any further discussion or questions? If not, we'll take a vote. Dylan. Aye. Gaston. D uh, I, Doug. Aye. Oh, uh, Hallie. Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero. Uh, those two applications are approved. Thank you so much for thank, coming Thank in. you. Thanks, um, a lot. Is that it for the lacrosse ones? Am I all set? I think so. Those are oh, the right. only two, right? Yep. Yeah, those were um, those were kind of moved up before payment. So there are two that with the mix up didn't make it on the agenda, but um, they, we should have time to take them to the next meeting. And, and if they're all the same, um, uh, you probably won't need to attend unless the board feels otherwise. All right, excellent. Thank you so much for your time, guys. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, on to the Common Victuallers License Renewal Application CV-114 Lime Red Tea House Incorporated at 50 Main Street. Is anyone here for this one or this is just this not get in the renewals, Steve? Yeah, this is just a late renewal that came in. I don't think there's anybody here for it. Okay, great. Um, if there are no questions, is there a motion to approve CV-114? So moved. Thank you, Doug. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Dylan. Any further discussion? No. Okay. We'll take a vote. Uh, Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. Doug. Aye. Hallie. Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero. That license is approved. The common victuals license for Lime Red Tea House. Okay. Oh, and the next one, this is a new one. This is a new ap uh, application for a lunch cart, right, Steve? Lunch cart food truck license application, Roosters Roaming Cantina. Yes, it is. Yep. And so this is the first one with our new uh, regulations. Excellent. Great. Great. And this is Ms. O'Connor here. Hi. And, hi. and Omar. Yes. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great. Welcome. Thank you. So do you want to introduce this or explain a little bit about the food truck? Uh, sure. We are uh, Roosters Roaming Cantina. We are a food truck that opened in the middle of the pandemic in 2020 in October, and we have slowly been making our way around to um, local areas and towns um, based mostly out of Palmer, Belchertown area. Um, but uh, Omar owns a home in Amherst, and uh, we are looking to upgrade our game a little bit and make it available to um, a lot more people that come out um, from the Amherst area. So we're looking to get in a couple days out there and, you know, really showcase our, our food off. So, Okay, great. Thank you. Um, did everyone have a chance to look at the, the license? So this is going on the... The north side by Kendrick Park, right? Correct. So, so with the uh, application with the new regulations, they would have the ability to operate in any of the pre-approved locations. But I believe their representations that that's where they primarily intend to primarily operate. want to be by Kendrick Park. Okay, and this is sort of and what were the hours listed on this? Sorry, I just I looked at this earlier, but two to eight. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Um, wonderful. Any questions about this license application? Dylan. Uh, I'm Dylan. sorry, I, I, I couldn't hear Doug there. What, yeah, two to eight, that's what it was? Yep. Got it. Um, I guess my question is, are we just looking to, to start out two to eight right now? Are we thinking about expanding that later or what? Uh, why do we pick those hours? Um, well, right now, yes, we're because we haven't ever been there. We're normally we're open like eleven to six where we currently are um, located. Um, on the weekends, we do a lot of local breweries and wineries and that type of stuff. So we um, just kind of picked the spot that we drove around to look to see where we thought it would be best for us to start. We could change our hours from eleven to eight. We could change them depending on um, what we find necessary. Since we've never been there, we don't really really know what the the high time 
times that uh, people would want us to be there. So um, it's kind of just a, a shot in the dark to start at those hours and then um, definitely adjust them. We can definitely be there longer if we need to be. Okay, great. Uh, Gaston, did you have a question? Yeah, um, uh, my first question is just if you had a chance to read through the um, the relevant regulations that we recently adopted and and you know interested in your feedback about them or any questions. Um, which documents are those? I'm sorry. Those would be the uh, the lunch cart and food truck regulations. I think I sent those to you a couple of weeks ago. Um, I don't know that I actually received those. We just got your information from you last week. Uh, not not from you, but about the lunch cart permit. We we got inspected. Um, I want to say in the beginning of last week, and then found out that we needed to uh, do the lunch cart permit. So I don't recall seeing any regulations. But if okay. you send them to me again, I will definitely read them over. Yeah, I'll make sure to send those to you. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I guess uh, maybe. You know, maybe we can um, maybe we we can make a, a motion to approve subject to confirmation that that you've had a chance to read the the regulations. Um, but I, I do have another question. Yep. Um, and and that's just uh, how you power the the cooking. What what uh, energy source are you using? Um, we have uh, we, we have three generators. Um, we have one that's attached to the truck, and then we have two smaller ones um, that we travel with if, if we need them so that we never run out of power. And then um, we have propane um, when we've already been approved by the fire department. Um, and then, yeah, so that's it. Okay. I mean, the, the question is coming from the, the, the I guess, concern for emissions, um, gas emissions and noise emissions. And I don't know if you if there's any spec you can share to give us a, a sense that this isn't going to be one of those really loud and uh, emissions spewing generators on on Kendrick next to where the kids are playing. We have uh, two of the new inverter generators, which are the quietest um, on the market um, as of two months ago. So uh, we definitely can use those um, in place of our larger, noisier one if that is a if that is something that you guys are concerned about and that powers the whole entire truck completely. So, I mean, I, I guess if if it if you can try it and and it would work, I, I think that you'll see in the regulations that that's one of the you know one of the issues that that are you know are relevant. Sure. Yeah, we we definitely we have two of them, so for sure. Okay, great. Um, any further questions about the lunch cart application for Roosters Roaming Cantina? You know, just say we're. I'm, I'm speaking for myself. Um, I, I'm very excited that that you're going to check us out. Thank you. We're very excited to, to be yeah. there. Like I said, Omar owns a home in the area, so we're constantly always out there. So we're, we're excited to, to get out and reach out. All right, great. Yeah. Thank you. She say, I'm looking at the uh, Facebook page in the menu, so I'm excited to see it. I live literally right on Kendrick Park, so as soon as I see that truck, I'm coming on out. All right, everybody right. get to the bottom. That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. All right, great. Um, if there are no further questions, is there a motion to approve this license, LCFT-1, first lunch cart license? Oh, and was this with the uh, subject to rece receiving confirmation of receiving the lunch cart regulations? Is that I just received those. Oh, you did? Okay, great. Yeah, he just sent them over. I'm at my computer right now, so I just got Good them out word. and I'm sending them out. Okay, fantastic. All right, so is there uh, a motion to approve? So we move. Oh. oh, thank you. All right, Dylan. And then who's going to do the second, Doug? The second. Thank, thank you, Doug. Any further discussion? If there is none, we'll take a vote. Dylan. Aye. Gaston. G Gaston? Hi, I'm sorry. Hi. I've been muting thank myself you. all evening. Oh, that's okay. Apologies. Hallie? Aye. Doug? Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero. The uh, application is approved. Thank you so much for coming in and best of luck. So Great. Thank you exciting. so much. We look forward yeah. to seeing you guys. Okay, Thank bye you. Bye. All right. Okay, so our next up is the Amherst Burger Bar, uh, the liquor license application and the comment. So can we do their common Vic first, Steve, and then? Yeah, the common five? Vic has not been, um, is not set to a time, so we can do that. Okay. 
or do we want to wait to just is are they here it looks like their attorney is here okay. um yeah the common vic could certainly be heard in the meantime or we could move on to discussion items well why don't we just do discussion items uh because we've got 13 minutes before five o'clock and we have um i think these might go kind of quickly so discussion item a is rental registration um, I have not received a new copy of the regulations from Mandy Johanneke. Has anyone else heard from her or received a copy of the new rental or heard about what happened at the listening session on Monday or attended the listening session on Monday? No, no. Yeah, Gaston? I, I have, I, I don't know if you want to, if I should bring this up now or in topics not reasonably anticipated. I've, I've had some personal experience with the, um, the tax for short-term rentals and um, so I, I could give a comment about that. Um, would that be fine? That's fine under this topic, right, Steve? Um, yeah, that would fit under rental registration. Okay. I'll, I'll just share. I, um, you know, on my mass tax connect, I had all these action items and it was like these monthly because I have the, um, the account created for a short-term rental. It, you know, reminds me to try to do a, a, a filing every single month. I went back to start working on those and I was a little confused. So I reached out to both um, the state and, uh, and Airbnb. And it's interesting that Airbnb, if you're only renting through them, they're handling those payments directly. And so um, it's just a point of information that they're taking responsibility for that. The side note is that they're actually charging more than what the tax shows it should be because I started filling out that return and they're charging consistently an extra um, two and a half percent on my rental revenue. Hmm. And um, when I've been following up with the support, they move, they kicked me off the regular support line to the people who need to document the emails about sensitive information. So I'm, I'm wondering whether I've just uh, gotten to some uh, um, you know un, uh, sleazy practices from Airbnb that they're charging me money without telling me, um, and uh, I'll keep you all posted. Okay. Wow! Wow! Yeah, that's that's not great. Okay. Thanks for that, Gaston. Um, anything else on rental registration? That we needed to. I guess we're just waiting for the updated copy of the regulations to come and then we can do some more work on that. Okay, well, the next discussion item B is upcoming meeting schedule and agenda. So our next meeting is is the is uh, March 2nd. Yes, so we March will be um, having another new liquor license application that day is for the Spoke Live, which is um, a different location for the Spoke. They want to create a large nightclub um, on the former location of Old Town Tavern. So okay, um, that will be coming then. So we have the Spoke Live and then the, um, the applications for the liquor license that it, the uh, the new extra, the one that has gone at whatever I can't remember what it's called now. Um, they're the due Universal on Lickers, the yeah. That's right. That's they're due on um, the twenty second. That's so correct. Yeah. We will have, and then when are we going to do that hearing? I think that was set for the sixteenth. The sixteenth of March. Okay. So we have the spoke live on March second. Uh, for topics, which we hopefully will we, let's put rental registration on there just in case. We hear, and I will try to email Mandy again and see if she's got another draft. Um, what else was outstanding? That we um, I believe to the uh, Mr. Haskins wanted to come back to talk about BYOB as well. Oh right, ha Mr. Haskins, BYOB. So if the board wanted to suggest um, alterations to that reg that regulation, we could we could notice it as such. Okay. On the is all right. So do we want to do BYOB on the second? Does everyone have time for that? I do. What, what, yeah. can you, what was uh, that? What the issue is? I, for, I, I think I lost the thread on, on the oh. BYOB. Oh, this was, um, he wanted to so get a BYOB for um, kind of run, the, change the time. Okay. Sort, right. of, sort of like brunch time oh, yes, hours. Yeah, sorry, or, sorry. Yeah, just picking yeah, the up morning, the, the last meeting. The sorry. morning hours. 
Yep. So, I mean, that's something we could totally put on for the 2nd of March and just um, do that because that's a pretty simple change, right? It's just moving the time. So why don't we do it that? And um, is that enough for the second? Like where are we at with adult use marijuana? Is that? That's a good question. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I think at this point, you know, the idea of, of it, were the license sort of taking uh, over for the host community agreement? Uh -huh. uh, uh, I, I, what, there's a couple of things I think I need to do with regard to this, just to sort of paint the picture a little bit, would be to um, get the sort of standard things that we have in our house community, community agreement, make sure that those are included in, and specified more particularly in the in the licensure uh, and make them as requirements. Um, and then I think there's also some state statute that's kind of, if I heard the news correctly the other day, is kind of in flux. There's some changes coming to that. Okay. Um, so that's another thing I'll keep an eye on and do a little research on what's been proposed. I don't think it's been, it's certainly not gone through the legislature, but I know there is some, some action in and around that topic. So I, I did hear that the other day. Um, I just know sort of personal schedule wise, it's a mess over the next basically month. So maybe by the 16th, but probably more likely either, uh, if we happen to have a third meeting in, in March or the first right. meeting probably is a more realistic time frame. Okay. Yeah, I think we've got a lot going on anyway with the this the new license hearings on the 16th. So right. why don't we push that off towards April? Okay. Okay. And then was there anything else that we were doing? Oh, flammable liquids. That's not a big, um, huge priority. Wasn't that right? Flam we were going to go over that, but that's sometime in the spring. Liquids and um, was there another one, Steve? I can't remember where I read it down. So off the top of my head. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. All right. So we have next meeting. We have BYOB and we have rental registration. And then on the 16th, we have the hearings for the new license applications, and then we'll do medical uh, adult use sometime in April, early April, tentatively. Okay, good. So that meeting is set and it's next week at five o'clock and we have five minutes until the hearing. Um, are there any topics? I guess, can we do topics not reasonably anticipated? Are there any topics not reasonably anticipated? 48 hours prior to the meeting. Um, any other late, last minute or late renewals, Steve? Um, I don't believe, not for today, certainly. Okay. Um, we're kind of working a double check. Um, everybody who has a food license and serves the public has a common VIC, so we may get some stragglers coming in, but I think from our primary, uh, primary contingent, we're just about through with that. Okay. We will have seasonal liquor license coming up, although that's just one. Okay. Any updates on protocol and oyster bar? Since they are still building out as far as I know. I think they're getting there, but they're still still in the process. Yeah. Oh, I know what we wanted to do. We wanted to check in with the police chief to see if he had um, talked to the ABCC. Yes. About enforcement. ABCC police chief. That's the other thing we needed to do. So um, that should, would be something to put on, maybe not for next time, but um, whenever you have a chance to check in with him, Steve, and see if he's talked to, figured out what's going on and why they haven't been, um, the ABCC has not been alerting the Amherst police when they come into town. Yes, I will check in with him. And then we can talk to him at a meeting. And um, let's see, anything else? Um, no. 
So we're just waiting till five. Yeah, we just have uh, two minutes here, so. Two minutes, okay. All right, yes, Doug? We can do the common Vic, I presume. Oh, right. Can we just do that common Vic? Is there anything, there's nothing controversial about it, right, Steve? Uh, I don't believe about the common Vic, nope. Okay. Um, did everyone get to see the application? Yes. Um, are there any questions? Oh, do we want to wait for Tom Reedy to come on? Hello, Mr. Reedy. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Considering Hi. we have one minute, maybe we could just do a presentation about everything. And okay, if you've right. got, if you do a quick presentation, we'll uh, do the common Victor's oh. application. Do you want me to just, Steve? Were you saying do you want me to yeah, do it maybe. all together? Yeah, we'll just wait today 30 okay. seconds and then we can just do it all together. Okay. So we're going to wait. I will mute myself. Sure. Okay. There we go. I think it is officially five o'clock. Okay, great. Um, welcome. And this is David James Bourgeois and uh, Tom Reedy as the, the attorney, um, and this is the hearing for the Amherst Burger Bar LLC 104 North, North Pleasant Street, all alcohol on premises license and a common victuals license. So um, we're interested to hear your about your application. Yes, Doug. Do we have to call the hearing separately? Oh, do I have to call the hearing? Yeah, there would be a motion to open the public hearing. Sorry about that. that. Thank you, Doug. Thanks for pulling that. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Dylan. Um, let's take a vote. Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. Hallie. Aye. Doug. Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero. The hearing for the new liquor license application Amherst Burger Buy is open. Um, okay, great. Welcome again. And um, uh, would you like to introduce the uh, application? Sure. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> yep. For the record, Tom Reedy, attorney with Bacon Wilson out of Amherst here on behalf uh -huh. of Amherst Burger Company, um, seeking both a common Vic and uh, on-premises all-alcohol liquor license for 104 North Pleasant Street. With me in the office, <clears throat> excuse me, is Barry Roberts, uh, manager of the LLC. Um, and then we've also got on the phone uh, David Bourgeois, uh, who's going to be the manager of this site. And so this is, <clears throat> excuse me again, if you're familiar, the uh, most recently it was Shanghai Gourmet. So it's right between Miss Saigon and Greenfield Savings Bank, uh, previously Ichiban, previously All Things Local, previously Super Bowl. <clears throat> so there's been some turnover to it. Uh, and now uh, Barry has a vision um, to revitalize that area with a, a burger um, company. And so just as you'd expect, it's uh, uh, burgers. And I think, you know, they'll have ice cream there as well, French fries, you know, a few different types of burgers, uh, some sit down, some grab and go, uh, open, you know, we'd like the hours seven days a week, 11 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. Um, they've got the interior space. If you've looked at the floor plan, they've got uh, an exterior patio space. I think on that exterior patio, they were thinking about uh, planters to divide their space from uh, the rest of the sidewalk. You know, it, it's elevated there, but just for them to divide their space, it is connected to uh, the building. So you, there's no um, like a Vespa where you have to walk outside across a public way to a patio. This patio is connected to uh, the restaurant space. So um, I think it's a really great use of the space. Um, all of the servers, wait staff, bartenders, et cetera, will be TIPS and Serve Safe certified. Uh, David, who's going to be the manager, comes from a food and beverage background, most recently the Grapevine Grill in Belchertown, uh, previously Bistro 63 and Antonio's. Um, both he and Barry are over the age of 21. They're of good character. There's um, no... Um, issues in their past that would impede their receipt of a license. And so, you know, with that, um, we're happy to answer any questions, but you know, they're, they're not making any exterior changes. It's really just the interior changes for a use that, um, you know, uniquely enough, there's, there's not a burger place 
in town. So we think it would be a really good use for the space. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Uh, Kelly. Do you have any plans to stay open later or is it a hard close at 11.30? I ask only because I believe the White Hut way back when, when it was open, actually had to hire bouncers for late night servings. I just didn't know if that was something you were thinking of. Uh, right now, no late night. Um, obviously, you know, let's see what the market conditions are. If if it turns out that there's a, a real demand for that late night, then we'd probably be back to look to modify the license to increase the hours to later. But right now it's, you know, that 11 to 11, uh, not to get out over the skis and to just really establish themselves. Um, you know, that that's the way they're thinking about it right now. All right, thanks. Uh, Dylan, you had a question? Yeah, I got a couple of questions. One, I want to preface with, I am very excited to see a uh, burger spot come to downtown again. It's been a while. Um, the first question is, is in terms of kind of what are you guys imagining for uh, like the kind of alcohol? Is it, is it, are we looking to have kind of like a full bar that serves cocktails or is it really just kind of looking to do beer, you know, with, uh, with your meal kind of thing? What's, what's the idea? Yeah. So we're obviously applying for the all alcohol liquor license to give us the flexibility. Um, I think probably to start, it'll be more um, beer, wine, you know, just it, we want to at least we want to focus on the food and the ice cream and the operations before we have to get a bartender in there who has to know how to make a figure it out what type of drink. Um, so I think that's the way like walk before you run. But I could see it evolving into some sort of, you know, maybe there's a, a specialty cocktail on, you know, Friday nights or something like that. So I think it, it really is, you know, bottled beer, draft beer, and then some wines with the idea of expanding to that, uh, to alcohol. I have uh, just one more question that um, I know I remember reading a while back that White Lion is going to be moving into that space. And I think I heard a rumor that that White Lion's still coming to town, but they're thinking maybe below where the High Horse, the, the High Horse Down Bar was. Now this is going in there. Is there any uh, kind of insight on on what happened with White Lion going in there and then and this coming about? Yeah, sure. Um, so yeah, White Lion was looking at this space and somebody else was looking at the High Horse space. And folks looking at the High Horse space decided not to move forward with that, that lower level of the high horse, so underneath the Drake. And so Barry, who owns the high horse space and also this space, went to White Lion and said, hey, this one's already set up for a brewery. Uh, doesn't that make some sense for you to go there? And they looked and they said, wow, yeah, it, it makes a bunch of sense for us to go there. And I think their liquor license is going to be in front of you for one of your upcoming meetings. I understand they might have just submitted maybe yesterday. So yeah, so this will be the burger place. And then just down the street at the uh, High Horse will be White Lion serving, I think, some more to like what you see in their Springfield. So like pub sort of food. But that's the backstory to this. Got it. Thank you. Sure. All right, great. Thank you. Um, any other questions? Gaston? Yeah, I mean, I guess in, in a way, this is a question for the, the commissioners um, in the sense of it's uh, an all alcohol license, but apparently not not being planned for that now. And I just I wonder how we we feel of, uh, about that. Um, it's not it's not the same thing, but it's almost with with respect to the liquor. It's a pocket license if it's not being used. I mean, it's odd for me to now be saying, oh, well, you better start pushing booze um, as well. But on the other hand, you know, we have a, there's another license for for beer and wine maybe we don't have one available in town is that is that true steve i believe we still do actually let me double check because there was just one available but, and if uh, i could respond to that so while we might not be like getting mixologists i think one of the um uh, something we'd like to provide is maybe alcoholic fraps so mm -hmm. like a, a bailey's or a coffee liqueur within yep. those fraps and so obviously you yep. would need the liquor license to do that. To well, you actually, you you could just get the cordials if that's really the game plan. Um, and that's like an add on. Uh, you don't need the full liquor for that. If, if I understand things correctly, Steve, is that, is that, do I have it right? I don't know exactly where the line is drawn between cordials and, um, and hard liquor, 
but okay. um, depending on how that's defined and what they're planning to do, that may be an option. Okay. Well, I guess I, I just hearing your the concerns you raise, they make sense. I, I know. I mean, I, I I've my I've watched the show the the bear. That's my experience with the difficulties of, of starting a restaurant. So I'm I'm sympathetic to that. I just wonder if uh, maybe bef before too long you could launch some some of the pre mixed cocktails. They're doing that at Amherst Coffee. They have a few you know their house blends and they're just pouring them out of a out of a tap. They they have them pre made. Yeah, I, and I think that's the intent. I mean, I, we definitely aren't trying to pocket the liquor portion of this license, right? I think it's just, you know, I'm always, as I mean, most of you know, I've been in front of you before and probably Dylan more than others because the Zoning Board of Appeals, you know, we're trying to be transparent here. So I, I would expect that it does ramp up and you will see uh, liquor selections sooner rather than later. I just don't know that we come out of the gate with it. I mean, even like... Uh, a rum and coke is. I don't think you necessarily need to be a mixologist to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gin and tonic. Uh, put a gin and tonic. Uh, Mr. Bourgeois, you might, do. You, do you have any comment on on this exchange? Yeah, yeah. I definitely think. Oh, can you hear me? Yep. yep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I definitely think we'll. Um, that'll be a part. Of, you know, that'll be a part of it. Down the road is launching a a really awesome cocktail menu um to to complement everything else we're doing and uh but yeah definitely to start you know i definitely want to be able to offer you know vodka sodas and rum and cokes and you know even even some some simple some sim simpler mixed drinks um and then you know and then slowly you know bit by bit build the foundation of a really strong bar program excellent thank you well um uh, sounds good. Sounds great. Uh, okay. Any other questions about this application or concerns? No, nope. Doug. And I, just, Doug. So I was seeing on the CV that it, uh, oh, the CV application was 11 to 11. And I'm looking at the, the redacted, uh, liquor license application. And I'm really struggling to find the hours of operation here. And maybe if, if that wasn't included, I'm not, that's not, a, that's more for Steve than it is for the rest our applicants, yes. but I always want to that confirm is, 11 to 11. That is what I would consider a flaw with the ABCC application. It doesn't really ask that. Okay. I kind of, I couldn't remember if, if it had or had not. I know I've seen it. I think sometimes people put it in their narrative, which is fine. I mean, mm. I think the, that's uh, on the actual license that we specify, correct? Yes. And just to be clear, so we, we had to go through the, um, it was actually the article 14 process with the building commissioner in, in 11 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. were the hours that we had specified to them, which was approved. So if it could be consistent in these, this be 11 a.m. to 11.30 p.m., that would be um, good for us. Okay. So that would be an amendment to Common Victor because it just says 11 to 11 on the, on the CD. Okay. okay. Which I don't know if we can take that as a, an amendment in, in approving that. I don't know, Steve, do you know? If they, uh, if they would like to request so, the board could certainly grant it. So requested. Okay. All right, great. If there are no other questions about these, do we just do the, um, the liquor license and then the common Vic? Oh, right, Dylan, you had a question. Oh, yeah, I was uh, just going to ask, what do you guys uh, plan to use for like a uh, ID scanning software? How do you intend to check IDs? Dave, you got any, any ideas there? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we would definitely, um, you know, check all IDs and, um, you know, if, if uh, you guys deemed it necessary, you know, we, we could, we could have a, an ID scanning station um, and any, you know, anything that was out of state, we could ask for a backup ID and, um, you, know, you know, I guess it depends on what, what you guys, what you guys want, want from us, but you know, check everyone's ID, especially in a college town, you know, we just check everyone's ID is, is kind of always been my thought on it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, was, I, no. I was just going to follow up with, yeah, it's not like a, I, I don't think it's a requirement of ours that, that you have uh, an ID scanner, but usually it's very, it's very good to have on hand for uh, anyone you're just not sure about. Cause I know when I was, I was carding, when I get, you know, a Wisconsin license, I just don't know. What is what that looks like offhand? So it's always nice to have that. So just a recommendation. Yeah. Uh, 
We're okay good. with getting that. We're okay with having that. Thanks. Um, Hallie, did you have a question? Uh, just about, I was going to say, we've often referred people to talk to the owner of the spoke about ID scanning. They're usually pretty much on the ball. And just so you know, it seems like the ABCC has been in town more since things have opened up since COVID. Just a FYI. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Uh, any other questions? If not, um, oh, I guess we'll close the hearing. So, oh, wait, Dylan. Okay, right. Thank you, Doug. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Dylan. We'll take a vote. Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. Hallie. Aye. Doug. Aye. And I vote aye, five to zero. The hearing is now closed. Um, any further discussion on the part of the commissioners about this license? If not, is there a motion to approve the new liquor license for Amherst Burger Bar LLC? So moved. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? Oh, I would just um, point out we are waiting to hear from, back from the police chief. Um, so oh, I may just okay. approve it contingent on his approval. All right. Is there a motion to approve it contingent on the approval of the police chief? So moved. Thank you, uh, Dylan. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Doug. Um, any further discussion? If not, we'll take a vote. Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, Hallie. Aye. Doug. Aye. And I vote aye, five to zero. The liquor license is approved. Thank you Great. very much. Thank you. And now we'll do the Thank convict. You. And this is the one that needs the time adjustment. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Okay. So is there a motion to approve the new common victors license for Amherst Burger Bar LLC uh, with the amendment that the time will be, uh, it was 11 to 11.30? Change from 11 to 11.30. So moved. Thank you, Doug. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Dylan. Any further discussion? If not, we'll take a vote. Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. Thank you. Hallie. Aye. Doug. Aye. And I vote aye, five to zero. The common Vic is approved. Thank well, you great. very much. Thank you very Thank much you. for coming in and best of luck with all of this. And we look forward to your opening. Perfect. Thanks All a right. lot. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Okay, so we've done everything. Are there any, no one has thought of a topic not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the meeting or five minutes prior to the end of the meeting? No? Okay. Dylan? A quick one. Uh, yeah. We're getting closer and closer to it. Steve, any, any word on remote meeting status? Oh, right. I have asked and I have not heard anything yet, so um what's the hard deadline before we all just have to show up at town hall again i think that's in mid-march oh really okay yeah i will um definitely let you guys know as soon as i hear anything but i have not yet i think last time the legislature left it kind of down to the wire so <laughs> okay great well i guess we'll find out about that always a mystery um okay so if there's nothing else uh, I'll see you all on the 2nd of March at 5. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thank you, Doug. Is there a second? Thank you, Dylan. Thank you. Uh, we'll roll call out of here. Dylan. Aye. Um, Gaston, sorry. Aye. Long day. Hallie. <laughs> aye. Doug. Aye. And I wrote aye, 5 to 0. We are adjourned at 5 16 p.m. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thanks for coming right. in early today, guys. I wasn't sure. sure how long this one would go, and we zipped right through it. So thank you. Again. All right. Great. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. See you.